Hi Aries Moons, thank you so much for being here. I am Divine from Care 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of Aries. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For your reading, I will be doing a three card spread. Love, money, and you, and then clarifying those three cards. I'm also going to do a Major Arcana card at the end of your reading, and then also a Spirit Animal card. I've already pre-shuffled all of the decks, and I won't be shuffling anymore, so let's go ahead and <laughs> get started here. Your first card for love. We have the Death card. This coming through in a lot of ways. I feel that it's a collective energy of there's just it's more awakenings that are coming through and being awakened to the truth of what feels good and what does not. And if it does not feel good, especially when it comes to being a part of third party situations here, as I'm seeing the two heads rolling here, I'm just getting third party so strongly and you really wanting to put an end to what it is, I feel that you are seeing that you're manifesting or have manifested in the past. So making sure that you seal the deal when it comes to this type of energy and situations here in your life. Connected to love and the love that you have from within your heart. I feel that um, because you don't represent third party, you're not of deception, you don't cheat, you make the choice to do what's right. You're seeing this uh, reflected back to you in a way where things are just being brought to light and it's like it's almost like an oh my gosh moment like and you're pretty much done with it done 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 is what i'm getting here so there being a significant ending in connections relationships that have to do with love really putting an end to it for good energy of 13 being here that comes together to create a four overall stability is what's important here for you too just not wanting to be a part of that lower vibrational shit. It's so gangster, too. Like, I think you're just, I think the oh my gosh, too, is this, you know, how people can take part in these kinds of, like, and I feel that you know and you understand because you may have done this in the past. But it takes so much energy. It takes so much time. And not only that, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's not, it's not right towards other people. It's a lack of integrity. It's dishonest. It, I feel it all comes down to you and how you represent yourself and what it is that you stand for and you don't stand for any of that. So moving yourself away from this. This is a transformative energy that's come through here too where I feel you really put a definite ending to something or some things here in your life. And it being transformative, not only for you, but everyone involved here. Seeing the skeleton, like I'm getting you as a skeleton here. And I feel you've just been, it's like you've been stripped down to bare minimum. And you just, you really have had it. When a woman's fed up. And it could be, it, when a man's fed up. <laughs> it could be either or, man or woman. Just tired of the dishonesty and the backstabbing and the betrayal. Being connected to toxic people who are not wanting to rise. Where they may appear like they're rising on the outside, but it being connected to people who aren't even, who are on those same levels there. No one's really rising. Everyone's, you know, possibly producing material wise, but at the end of the day, it really means absolutely shit because you don't have any emotional fulfillment to complete oneself and how one is really truly feeling. It's all a facade, it's just a, a very shallow energy where there's no wholeness from within it all being exterior based and being like plastic just being fake as fuck and i feel you're over that too i'm gonna go ahead and move on because i just feel you're completely disgusted uh second card <laughs> for money we have is the strength card in reverse so this i'm just getting you coming into some relief here where you don't have to fight all the damn time Someone throwing their hands up. This could be white flag energy is also what I'm getting. But there's just being a lot more ease for you. Instead of giving you a hard time because you're so bomb. 
just recognizing you for you being bomb and appreciating that and doing what it takes to keep you to keep you around to keep you know to keep a contract honored to keep things going not necessarily to keep you like you're you know able to be cut but because you have placed yourself in a particular setting you're being seen for this and um, being seen for how awesome it is that you are and what you bring to the table and receiving your accolades. But I'm also getting that because, again, it's just being about you taking a, a really strong stance for yourself. It's speaking to the universe and the universe is supporting you and seeing you through in this. And it's like the um, the yellow brick road is also what I'm getting. They're just not being a struggle when it comes to you getting what you need to get done, done on your end in the way that you want to see it. You having sovereignty is what I'm getting overall here for the strength card in reverse here. Now, this could also be pertaining to uh, someone you may be connected to where there's some kind of an illness is what I'm getting. That just being a slight energy that wanted to come through and speak. Overall, this is a card of 11. So I'm just getting that humanitarianism just coming towards you in a way where it's very comforting, it's relaxing. And I feel that with this kind of setting and environment that you have decided to manifest for yourself, it's also helping you to do the best job that you can do. I feel that that's being seen too when there's more of a controlling and overpowering environment where one feels like they have to walk on freaking eggshells. You can't really do the best job that you can. So possibly someone that you have been working with or working for is seeing this and how they may have been treating others by you taking a stance. This is a reflective energy to help them awaken to the truth of their own behavior to see that, you know, being over controlling, overpowering, domineering, being a tyrant has only affected the effectiveness of others and what they're able to produce. So it just all together being a hot mess. So this is a, a significant change coming away from that and things just beginning to run a little bit more smoothly because there is no barrier or anyone trying to control a situation here. It's a release, going with the flow of things and allowing to just be, helping you to be your greater self. Ching, ching, ching. Bling, bling, bling. Money, money, money. Sing, sing, sing. <laughs> Okay, let's go on to your next card. What do we have for you? This is Leo energy that wanted to come through before I met the uh, before I move on. With the Leo energy, we also have Aquarius energy. Those are two polarity energies that work well together. Um, when it comes to partnership, it's a uh, dark and light energy, and so that reflective energy from you being the light energy, working with the shadow energy that you've been dealing with um, to come out of that and to bring more light so that there's more contentment and happiness. But that 11 being tied to Aquarius energy and the humanitarian energy, the Leo energy being a part of that bravery and that courage and having the the will, the, the strong willpower from within to really step forward and to stand up for what's right and what's true. Uh, for you, what do we have here? We have the beautiful Two of Cups. Love it. All right. So this is this is great relationship and connections here. And, you know, especially in the love department, this is ooey gooey. Yummy, yummy. Delicious love. I'm just getting kisses and hugs, being appreciated, being cared for, being looked after, being supported, being lifted up, seeing you as this cup here, someone coming into your life. And helping you and lifting you up and supporting you. It could be friends. It could be family. I feel it's a, a you having a clarity about the trueness of the two of cups in your life. In all different aspects. And that wanting to be the reason why family, friends, and romantic partnerships are coming through connected to this. Because you are embracing this from within yourself. I feel that because you know this, because you've done the work towards this, and now you're achieving this and seeing this as a great accomplishment, now you're able to really um, delete the energies that are opposite of that. And that being a part of that polarity energy and that shadow work, being in your money here. So with that completely being worked on, it's like an opening 
new portal energy is what I'm getting here. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a Fucus. So we have strong Scorpio energy that's present in this entire reading here. You may have been dealing with a Scorpio, but I do feel that um, with the shadow energy that you experience with that Scorpio energy, you're really looking forward to, I feel you're manifesting a beautiful, healthy Scorpio energy coming into your life here and it just being completely magical and majestic and um, very fulfilling for you, bringing a lot of great joy and happiness. That just is. It's just coming to you and you're allowing yourself to enjoy this here. This is beautiful. Beautiful. I love saying that word. Um, it could be another Aries energy that's coming through for you here too. Someone very similar to you. Not necessarily exactly the same because no one can be the same, but similar properties where I feel there's some lightheartedness, there's laughter, there's fun, there's great sexual energy that's coming through too. Reciprocity, equality, sex, 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 and more sex. I like I was for your title I channeled the Saturn finger um, you know that coming off that being the middle finger take what resonates for you but right before I began your reading I was also getting that finger <laughs> being uh, utilized in some very special ways that has to do with a great amount of pleasure so have what you will with that. But I do feel this Two of Cup is kind of speaking to that. And this just being some great, hot, sexy, uh, beautiful connection that's coming through. That's going to be very fulfilling. Like I'm here and picking you up. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Um, and that's not, well, I, I will. <laughs> hey, whatever, whatever floats your boat for whoever I'm not judging on anything because I was going to say you know this is pertaining more to females but that's not necessarily so it can get really kinky I'm getting really kinky stuff here and it just being a lot of fun and happiness that's coming through <laughs> with this here that's awesome all right let's go ahead and we'll get to your uh let's see what's on the bottom here first we have the three of coins so this is beautiful energy, working well together with others, uh, with that last little bit that wanted to come through, especially in the love department. But you seeing a karmic return here of beautiful people and energies that are more than happy to work with you. This is also about your craftsmanship and being seen for your great talent, your hard work and your efforts and your abilities and your great strength overcoming you know energies that have not been as strong or you know just it's just it's coming back to this energy here and with this being money section i am getting also like i'm seeing slash abundance so it being very important for you and i feel that's going back to that four energy of you really putting in two situations that have not been fulfilling in your love section and that stability of the four coming through Cancerian energy is connected to that with fourth house energy of cancer. So security, protection, self-love, unconditional love being really important there. Coins is um, earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. All right, let's get to your clarifiers here. I love this card here for you. And I'm glad that this is a strong representative of you here as this two of cups here. This is super Super, super, super fun. Super dope. Let's clarify the death card. All right, so automatically I'm getting this as someone, you having to be in this stance because of this eight of cup in reverse and someone really not wanting to walk away. I was getting the energy of you snooze, you lose before your reading as well and who it is that you're moving away from where they just completely snoozed on you maybe took it for granted that you would always be around or because you have a certain connection that you're not going anywhere and you're making it very clear that you are so this being a part of what uh, you're moving away from it's also lack of emotional fulfillment here too this person being connected to this 
you want emotional fulfillment and what makes you happy. You want happiness. You have it because you've walked away. With this Eight of Cups and there still being that holding on from this particular person or people, this comes together to create a Ten of Cups here. So what has been designed possibly to be a block here for you, you're taking this Eight of Cups and bringing it to your Two of Cups to overall have that complete, wonderful, happy, emotional fulfillment in that Ten of Cups there. So that's super bomb there too. Good for you. Good for you in bringing your own happiness back into yourself. It's karmic return energy with that eight energy. And I did mention strong Scorpio energy that you may have been dealing with. We have that with the eighth house energy of Scorpio. This being a card of Scorpio. And then what wanted to come through with the cups energy there too as well. And you bringing a beautiful, healthy Scorpio energy into your life that, again, it just, it's... um. Like, I'm just seeing rainbows, the yellow brick road, stars bursting. They're just being great cheer, great happiness, great celebration, great fun. Just being very, very happy. Adored. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. It just being, it's, a, a, it's an amazing feeling, especially coming from what it is that you left behind. Cups is more water, energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and a few kids. Clarify the strength card in reverse. All right, this one had to pop, so I'm going to take it. Yeah, look at that. No more fighting. All this coming apart. I feel you taking your wand out of the situation. Out of this five of wands, this is a five of wands in reverse. Taking your wand out of this situation to where there's now stability in that four. That four being so very important for you. This is your energy of fire here. And then also Sagittarius, Leo, and a Fucus. That Leo energy being very strong here. It's that bravery and that courage. Included with your Aries energy. And realizing that you are that number one energy. You are where it starts. And you have that true fire, that initial spark to be able to bring in newness for yourself by putting an end to what is not bringing around happiness or is uh, wanting to block the flow of things. So you being able to be that spark to create new for yourself, but also, you know, being seen for that beautiful spark of you and who it is that you are and being recognized and appreciated. There being no contest. When it comes to this. So again, with that breaking away. And there's that yellow brick road. It being unblocked for you here. No more struggle. And no more of anyone trying to give you a hard time. Just because you're super bomb. Competition energy also wanting to come through there too. It's a no contest. And no more words need to be spoken either. Let's go ahead and get on to the Two of Cups. We'll clarify the Two of Cups here. Okay, those just wanted to come out. We're going to take them. Okay, and I don't feel that this is you. Um, I feel this is an old Two of Cup that's exposing themselves by not being able to release you. As I see this World Card in reverse, I'm getting that being connected to this Eight of Cups here. In this nice little stack here. You had a two a cup with someone here. And you did what you needed to do. Because being connected to them. Was causing a lot of stagnancy. You not, receiving re you not seeing return on your investment here. And it not being fair. There being possibly. You know with this chariot energy. That's also. That can be a part of stagnancy. It doesn't have to necessarily mean go. This is also about sitting and analyzing and observing. Dealing with Scorpio energy. Sometimes Scorpios. Um. You know, depending on what level they're at, can sit and observe for centuries. You don't have time in this lifetime here. You're here as an Aries energy to be active, to have action in your life. So dealing with this particular energy here, it's a no-go for you. You've invested a lot, and um, I feel this other person has too, but they're still sitting and observing and assessing 
while you're out here living your best life as this two of cup here. You had this here with this person here, but they decided against it for whatever reason, um, you know, that's connected to that stagnancy that I'm getting here. I'm also getting this as hangman energy, even more of the stagnancy and, you know, just kind of not moving at all. And that's not your cup of tea. Five of Pentacles here, feeling left out in the cold, them wanting to speak this and try to come through in your reading. So... We entertain that. We'll go ahead and put this with this here. Let's clarify the Two of Cups. I thought that was weird, the way that just came out like that. <laughs> Let's clarify the Two of Cups. Uh, magician in reverse is also what I'm getting with this energy here too. Let's clarify the Two of Cups. Yeah, look at you. Got this King of Wands coming through for you. Matching fire coming in with your fire. And this just being that super potent energy that I was getting connected to a very strong sexual connection here. This is a great builder. Leo energy. This is a Leo person who's very hot and very spicy. And he may be, um, this could be a, a male or female. For a lot of you, I'm getting this being a man here. And um, I'm just getting a, a very strong with that Leo energy, it's almost like like they're like an actual lion. Like it's a very strong, tall, uh, very broad in the chest. Um, like I'm seeing this person. It's one person in particular that you really have your sights set on. They have their sights set on you here too. I feel this is about that energy here, too, from within you and what it is that you're bringing out into the physical here. Because there's just one card here. And I'm seeing this King of Wands here. It could be, too, about this person being no contest when it comes to what it is that you've dealt with over here. And there being a release of that because you've released this. And, um, again, are being seen for your bombness here. This uh, king energy is a part of some emperor energy. So someone who's uh, a great uh, empiric person here. They build great empires. They know how to succeed. They know what to build on. They know how to build on stable and healthy foundations. Having a great understanding that, you know, what you build on as far as support, if it's not built on something that's made to last, it's going to fall down. And so I feel that this is about what you're manifesting here is this beautiful King of Wands energy here. I feel too, like just seeing them here, because I've gotten that you've taken your wand out of a situation, realizing that you don't have to be a part of this because there's no competition. So this person coming through with great understanding here for you, having a wand here that they've established and accomplished for themselves to match the wand that you have established and accomplished for yourself bringing that together in that beautiful two energy and that two of wands and having that action, that super fiery action of, okay, I've done this for myself. You've done this for yourself. We see what we're both bringing here. Let's put these wands together and let's go. That's that two of cups there. And it not only has that fire, but it has the beautiful watery connection of emotion connected to this. I love this Aries moons. This is so nice. This is so nice. Yeah, and I'm just getting for a lot of you a king being connected to your queen energy. And again, it could be male or female, but I'm getting a lot of you being strong feminine, bringing a beautiful masculine energy into, um, into your life. Strong king energy. This is royal. Royalty. High royalty. Someone really knowing their worth. Not putting up with a lot of bullshit. Not putting up with any bullshit. Just not um, tolerating nonsense. Moving themselves away. It's being a very similar alignment of you both here. And because you've both been doing the best that you can for yourself. Coming into greater for yourself. You're now beginning to align and connect even more into a physical way here. You may be communicating in a certain way that's very special. Um, and again, a super kinky, very highly sexual connection and um, partnership that's coming through for you where it's due to be a lot of fun here for you. I feel it's a great surprise that's coming in for you here too. 
that you've manifested for yourself, but the universe wanting to provide this for you after what it is that you've experienced in your past. This person seeing this here too and wanting to extend and make sure that you have everything that it is that you need. Wanting to supply your needs and fulfill your needs, even though you can fulfill your own. This being about that comfort and contentment and the joy that can come from someone else wanting to do this for you. This is beautiful. And that being a part of that too, a cup energy there too. They think you're super, super, super amazing, super beautiful, super handsome, very delightful, that you're very powerful, that you're highly talented, that you have everything that it is that they have been wanting. I was getting to um, the movie A Weird Science and creating and manifesting. So two kids used their technology to try to create a woman. And I feel that this is almost very similar to this, just be, it being about someone who's manifested the, the person of their dreams and you being the person of their dreams. Oh, and then I feel too, like what you're manifesting, this is the person of your dreams. Oh, that's so special. I love this. I love love. This is so great, especially when you decide to power through the darkness knowing your light and then that light just increasing and you coming out of that darkness even more bomb than before rather than just falling down and staying down i love this this is great this is great judgment on the bottom here in the upright so this being about you know what's due to come through for you because it's just being about everything i just said Everything I just said for both you and this person here, this beautiful, handsome king of wands from within you, but you also seeing this, oh my God, as a great person in your life here. Okay. And then I want to make it clear too, we have that strong romantic partnership where I feel that that is very important for you first and foremost, um, you know, you being the importance for yourself. But um, this being number one, but this could also be, if it's not about that for you, however this resonates, it could also just be about you coming into strong partnership when it comes to career or family or friend. I did say that at the beginning and Spirit wants me to make that very clear there too. And then again, it could also be every single aspect in your life and just being very powerful in the romance department. There's been a drought when it comes to emotional fulfillment and connection Possibly with that scorpionic energy on the lower vibration, it being intentional. Judgment call coming through for those actions there and it being that karmic return. We reap what we sow. But this being great awakening energy here too, to the truth. Seeing even more of the light of day and what's been taking place, what's been happening, what's been manifested. And because there's universal support, you just taking it and running with it and doing what you need to do for yourself, but also allowing the universe to bring in those beautiful blessings here for you, awakening included. Now I'm seeing the African-American flag here. This uh, concept here was created by Marcus Garvey here. What I'm getting is that, you know, this is about those of color who being in 3D programming and on lower vibration are coming against one another. And I feel that this is a representation to show that we've come so far from long ago as a unit that was collective and was together, completely backtracking in this lifetime for any of those who are coming against those of their, their own racial culture here. That being a part of this judgment call here too and helping others who are participating in that to wake the fuck up. to not take back or to, you know, disrespect what was a struggle for so long for people of color to come together as a unit, to be able to overcome what was being brought against them by those not of color. And I hope that makes sense. This is a card of 20. This all breaks down to that beautiful two energy here and what's coming through for you is this beautiful blessing here of this King of Wands energy and this Two of Cup partnership. 
in more ways than one, but especially in the romance department, uh, department. Oh my God. <laughs> Enjoy yourselves. This is great. This is, uh, right before the ending of a complete cycle here too, with it being 20, right before the 21 of the world card, which is the last card of manifesting in the manifesting cycle. So coming upon that zero energy of newness and that leap of faith energy, it's just, I'm not even getting a leap of faith. I feel that that's already taken place in this cycle here and you moving away from what has not served you here. And because you've done that, there's great adventure that is awaiting you here as a part of this judgment call. Now on the flip side, for those who have decided to take, you know, more of a negative action here, they're reaping what they're sowing in the way that's necessary for them to help them to come into greater living for themselves and their their surroundings and who they, um, you know, bringing light to who it is that they've surrounded themselves with so that they can put the energy into wanting to lift themselves up, to remove themselves from what's been keeping them in that brewing stew of droughtness. And there being no love, there being very little fulfillment at all. I'm just, I'm just seeing yucky, 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 after yucky, yucky, yucky. And you just, that just not being a part of your vocabulary. So this is super. Let's go ahead and we'll move on and get to your final card of the Major Arcana. And then we'll do the Spirit Animal. And you'll be all done. I love your reading. So let's get one card for Aries Moons. These are so big. Sorry. I'm going to let one pop out here. Aries Moons. See if we can just get one. Your Aries moons. Okay. Just wanted to stay, so we're gonna take that. We have the hangman in reverse. Card of 12. This is Trinity energy here. With this, I am getting no longer being a sacrifice, but really truly being enlightened to the truth of just how special it is that you are. Looking forward here to being completely over what it is that you've dealt with. Connected to possibly an old King of Wands energy here. Looking forward to the new. You're seeing the new here. It's coming through for you. But notice all that gold that has your backing. This is your energy. And what it is that you bring to the table in the wand that you provide as an Aries moon here. Someone seeing that and wanting to appreciate it. Wanting to appreciate it. One, and seeing it, you know, as a true blessing and the benefit that you bring to their lives and vice versa. I feel this is happening for you as far as this King of Wands here too. Just you both bringing very great benefic energy and abundance to one another by just being the beautiful, abundant people that you are. Divine connection here you're you're very um heightened and full of divinity and this is speaking to the uniqueness and the connection that you have in this lifetime and why it's important for you to not be a part of that lower vibrational scorpio stagnant energy where they could be sitting for i feel like you've dealt with this over lifetimes to be honest with me saying centuries and you're over it fed up and you've had it and you're moving on and making sure you keep your focus very strongly. Hands in the, I'm just seeing the hands in the pocket like you just not have been interested. And then, you know, checking this out and, and seeing it through and feeling it through. Trust the universe and know that, I feel too, it's important to know that what you came from, everyone is not like that. I was getting too strongly, um, a lot of you being connected to people in the industry and having dealt with this particular energy where it can be almost like, um, you know, that saying that, you know, if one person cheats, um, then they're automatically a cheater forever. Or that, um, you know, if they're associated with a certain group, then all the others are going to be the same way. And I feel that that's, um, 
why this is being brought to your attention is to know that um, if you were dealing with someone in the industry or someone who's famous or uh, of celebrity status, they're not all going to be like this. Not everyone is the same and everyone goes through their own situations where they may not have been healed from a situation regardless of how they got to that, that point of status there and having that money. Not everyone got to it the same way. Some people actually did the strong work that it took and didn't manipulate, didn't maneuver their way into, you know, where it is that they are. This person here worked from the very bottom of where it is that they came from, experienced a lot of hardships, just as you have. And I feel that that's that understanding that's coming through when you're communicating this to one another here. But this person just seeing you very very divine they just see you as a, a super divine individual who's very grounded very grounded you got it completely going on and they see this in you it's unmatchable you're very evident amongst the crowd here is also what i'm getting here but again i feel that it's just you also seeing too that Someone actually does have your best interest and they can be a part of the industry. Not all of, not everyone is the same. They're not all the same. So you being able to kind of fall into this and trust this, giving it a shot. And that could be that full energy too. You know, taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, not necessarily a leap of faith, but taking a risk when it comes to your heart because of how hard, um, how hurt your heart has been by someone in a situation that you put yourself in in the past. So being willing to be a part of this newness here and allow this to come to you. Receiving message here, that download connection here with that hangman in reverse there. Receiving this and knowing, having that knowing that as long as you have your best interest and allow the universe, 99% of the time it's going to come through here for you. You just had to get yourself out of a very major toxic cycle. That was not serving you and it took a lot of time to get through this darkness. This is a, a card of Pisces. So you may have cusping energy or significant Pisces in your chart in some way. I'm getting tropical or Vedic. Or whatever it is that you study. Not everybody studies the same astrology either. So that, that just being very important for you. Cheer up, Buttercup. You have so much coming here for you. And being in this two of cup here. Just trust the process, babe. Let's go ahead and look at your spirit animal card here for Aries Moons. And that judgment energy. I feel that that's the universe also coming through to speak on them seeing everything that's been happening and they want to take care of their baby. No more of what you've experienced here. Have no worries. Manifest that even more for yourself. And keep going with the way that you've been manifesting, what you've been manifesting and that positivity that you've been wanting to see for yourself. All right, um, let's get one more card here for Aries Moons. We'll take the top card there. D is for dolphin. That D could be significant. I feel that may be about some exposure here. Uh, let me um, look up a little synopsis here for the spirit animal meeting. And then I'll um, do my best to do some research myself and maybe um, enter a link here for you to go ahead and dive a little deeper Ooh, deep diving, dive, dive a little deeper on this dolphin meaning here for you. Now, I did say, you know, we had that taking a risk, taking a dive. D is for dive. That could, you know, resonate for you here too when it comes to this King of Wands here. This message coming through very clearly here for you. You do have someone who really sees you and appreciates you and recognizes you for how awesome it is that you are. And they want to bring... A lot of contentment and joy to your life because they've seen what you've gone through. The universe supporting this completely. With that two energy and then two of cup energy being there in the U section.
All right, let me pause this. So dolphins represent rebirth. We have rebirth energy here with the death card. Seeing dolphin symbols in, on objects during quiet moments. Seeing dolphin symbols on objects during quiet moments means you're about to have a life-changing shift in thinking. That's also the energy of the hangman too, having greater perspective and being enlightened to the truth. Crown chakra being lit. With this being in that reversal, it's also about greater enlightenment. You may be on the cusp of a of a personal renaissance. Let me um I'm gonna enter that link for you um to look at in the description box, but I'm also I'm gonna check out something else here too. So it says the dolphin spirit animal, and this is um spirit animal info dot info, and I'll leave this link too. The dolphin spirit animal represents harmony and balance. I'm going to have some hot cocoa after this. I'm so excited. With marshmallows. Dolphins are both highly intelligent and closely in tune with their instincts, striking a balance between the two states. Trust your instincts too. That being supportive for yourself there too. Dolphins are also a symbol of protection and of resurrection. Their playful nature is a reminder that everyone needs to approach life with humor and joy. People who identify with the dolphin totem are usually peaceful and gentle, but with a deep inner strength. And I feel that that's speaking to your moon energy, the peaceful and the gentle, and then the deep inner strength speaking to your Aries and that fire in the belly. Beautiful energy. I love this. And I love this for you and that this came out in a very cool way with the water energy connected to that water and that fire energy that's present here. This is so delicious. I, hey, D is for delicious. I don't get it. <laughs> All right. So Aries moons, this was your beautiful reading. I hope that these messages were helpful, enlightening, empowering, and enriching for you. I thank you all so much for your continued love and support. Welcome to all new subscribers. And until we meet again, I wish you all the very best. Take great care. I love you. Peace.